Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons has announced that Syria has destroyed all the production and mixture equipment. The Syrian Arab Army achieves more progress eliminating scores of terrorists in different towns and cities. The Syrian army discovers a tunnel which is 300 meters long and 5 meters deep connecting Arbin with Harasta. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Yerado Krikorian with the news in English. The Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons has announced that Syria has destroyed all the production and mixture equipment at its declared chemical installations within the timetable set for eliminating its chemical weapons. The organization said its teams had inspected 21 out of 23 chemical weapons sites across Syria. It pointed out that the equipment of the other two sites which were difficult to inspect were moved to other places where they were inspected and consequently the organization confirmed the destruction of all the equipment in the 23 sites. It had affirmed last week that Syria had committed itself to the deadline set for the destruction of its chemical weapons. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Jawad Zarif has affirmed in a press conference that Iran would attend the Geneva II conference if invited and would contribute to finding a peaceful solution to the crisis in Syria. Arab army units destroyed a factory for manufacturing explosive devices to the northwest of Yabrud and weapons and ammunition cache in the western farms of Jairud, in addition to destroying terrorist vehicles in Jabadin, in Damascus countryside. As part of its continuous effort of targeting terrorist groups, units of the Syrian Arab army discovered a tunnel which is 300 meters long and 5 meters deep crisscrossed with minor canals and branches connecting the city of Arbin with Harasta in Damascus countryside. The tunnel is equipped with electricity and loaded with explosive devices and dirt barricades. Syrian Arab army unit confronted an armed terrorist group that attempted to attack a military checkpoint near Azara bridge killing many terrorists, including Mu'tasim al-Dandashi, the leader of the so-called Junood Allah Battalion. In Aleppo, the Syrian Arab army has eliminated terrorist gatherings in the surroundings of Aleppo Central Prison, Al-Kindi Hospital, and Daret Azza. The army also destroyed terrorist hideouts and missiles launching podiums, as well as mortar guns in al jdaide and Quares villages. An army unit, meanwhile, killed all the members of a terrorist group in the outskirts of Sheikh Saeed neighborhood and confiscated their motor gun. In Idlib countryside, the Syrian Arab army destroyed cars loaded with weapons and ammunition on Binnish. Ta'um Road near Saraqid City, killing dozens of terrorists inside them. In Idlib, army units foiled several attempts by terrorists to block highways near Talit al Mustume for the sake of disrupting traffic among Syrian cities, let alone the strategic importance of Al Mustume Hill, which overlooks the cities of Idlib and Ariha. 
In Iraq, the governorate of Babel has disclosed that suicide terrorists had infiltrated from Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Syria to the Triangle of Death Area to perpetrate deadly crimes against religious processions during the month of Muharram. Meanwhile, 27 terrorists who had tried to infiltrate from Syria into Arotba and Al Qaim neighborhoods to flee the Syrian Arab army strikes have been all eliminated by the Iraqi border guards. In Lebanon, an explosive device blew up in Shtura in Al Bikar, leaving no casualties. One car was damaged. The blast took place at the engineering as the engineering unit at the Lebanese security forces was trying to dismantle the device behind Al Mosawi establishment. The Lebanese army had earlier seized the van loaded with arms and ammunition near the Lebanese Syrian borders. The suspects were handed over to concerned parties and investigation immediately started into the incident. Back to our local news, the Technological Institute for Mechanical and Electric Engineering at al Hamak faculty in Damascus University has opened an exhibition for the graduation project of distinguished students who have excelled in their scientific study so that they would contribute to the establishment of the electronic industry nucleus in Syria. During the opening ceremony of the exhibition, the rector of Damascus University, Dr. Mohammed Amir Mardini, underlined the importance of such projects in igniting the spirit of creativity and invention among Syrian students. The students who have spent years in preparing the project under the supervision of specialized engineers wished they would be offered every support from the concerned parties, hoping job opportunities would be made available for all graduates and institutes and labs would be provided with the necessary equipment to improve their efficiency. And now over to the latest business and market news, but after a short break, stay tuned.